To finish this program, we're gonna make a third and final view in our app to show astronaut details, which we reach by pressing one of the crew details down here. This should mostly be practice for you, but I hope it shows you the importance of navigation stack in SwiftUI apps and iOS. So we're digging deeper into our app's information and the presentation of views just sliding in really drives that home to users. So start pressing Command N, make a new SwiftUI view. Press Next and call this thing Astronaut View, like so. This is gonna have a single astronaut property to load here so it knows what to show on the screen. And it'll lay that out in a similar scroll view, VSEC approach, we had mission view. So we'll say in our struct, we have one astronaut coming in, like that. And then a body, this will be a scroll view with a V stack. I'll show image of the astronaut ID, resizable and scale to fit. Then their description with a bit of padding on it. And then a background of our dark background color with a nav title of the astronaut's name and a nav bar title display mode of dot in line. Like that. Line. Come on, like that. Boom. Once again, we're going to change the preview code down here so it creates this preview of some actual data. Uh, we'll load all the astronauts in. That is a string astronaut dictionary using bundle.main.decode astronauts.json and then simply send back the astronaut view with an astronaut of one of them. I'm gonna use astronauts um, Aldrin like that. Happily force and wrap that, it's preview code only. And then do preferred color scheme of duck. Hopefully that'll look about right. Let's find out in the preview. Boom, perfect. Now we can present that inside our uh, main uh, view area here. So we can say, yes, go ahead and just uh, show that from our mission view. Um, I've noticed it's not quite edge to edge. I think really, yeah, I see why. Um, the scroll view will fill the screen, but the VStack won't, it'll fit text and contents. So the background, nav title and display mode should really go on the scroll view like that. Hopefully now, boom, there we go. Edge to edge, dark blue color, phew. <laughs> Easy mistake to make. Anyway, um, we wanna present that from our previous view, the mission view here. And so back in mission view, um, we're gonna say that our nav link, this one, which currently says just astronaut details, uh, this has to show our astronaut view instead. So I'll say astronaut view with astronaut of the crew member dot astronaut like that. Pass in the whole astronaut object there. And that's it. That was fairly easy, right? But if you run the app now, you'll see how natural it makes our user interface feel. We're showing at the broadest level of information first, all the information of our missions. I'll choose one of them here. I'll choose Apollo. Uh, let's choose one of the cool picture ones. Let's look at this one. Apollo 30 is an amazing picture. <laughs> look at that. Or actually 12 sort of, sort of flying boat thing going on. Very cool. Um, then we'll choose a, uh, from inside here, go deeper into here. We'll select one specific astronaut. Let's do uh, Bean. And there we go. Uh, digging all the way in. And iOS just takes care of animating each one of these views in for us automatically, but providing that back button and swipes to return to previous views.